Hello, today we are going to install and compile KDE software from source in Mac OS operating system using the KDE Craft build framework. So for that we go to the kde.org website which is the homepage of the KDE community and then we go get involved development and in the chapter operating system it says that uh, support for macOS exists we recommended that we do development so editing the KD source code and then creating GitLab merge requests from a Linux operating system so using other operating systems such as Apple macOS is an advanced topic once you know how to do how to write to the KD git repositories from a Linux operating system then in time you might graduate to be able to contribute from other operating systems such as macOS okay we go to the chapter macOS and in here um, we get to the KD craft with a C not with a K which is a build framework similar in spirit with uh, FreeBSD ports collection um, which allows to build KD source code on Mac OS on Linux on Windows and also for Android okay so let's follow the steps and see if the inst instructions are correct or if they can be improved then I'm going to edit the wiki page so it says install Python 3 okay this thing says it's a pkg into the downloads directory save show in finder so this is actually a um, installer wizard continue Double click on install certificates to run it. Okay. Next. History and license. I agree. 170 megabytes of space. Super user password. Okay, so this thing is store certificates. I need a text editor. And I'm not sure what text editor I should use on macOS. So in case I'll need this, I'll know where to get it from. Uh, 
that's all. Let's still run this thing. The process completed. Next step, install Xcode at least developer command line tools. Requires the command line developer tools. Would you like to install? Install. Agree. Twenty two hours remaining. Let's see the speed of the download. So it's 35 megabytes per second, which is more than 100 megabits per second. Okay. I'll pause this for a second until Xcode uh, command line developer tools will finish downloading and I'll be back. Okay, so Xcode was installed correctly, it says the software was installed. I made sure that uh, Python 3 is in the path, which it is. Because Python 3 is going to be needed at the next step. Okay. So we need this uh, long command. And then it says that I should have run install certificates dot command, which I actually did. Select a target architecture. Default is AMD 64. Great. Do you want to enable support for colored logs? Default is yes. Okay. Let's make the terminal bigger. Let's make the fonts bigger. Okay, so I see craft, KD craft, the bit the build framework downloading many needed packages. So it downloads binary packages and installs them, such as uh, 7zip, I saw then Perl. said it uh, cloned the git repository for the KDE craft project which is invent.k.org slash packaging slash craft so it installed ninja which is an alternative to make. Create DMG lib tool. Auto make from the GNU project. Autocon from the same place. M4 the same. This is Perl.
Okay, so it uh, has downloaded many of the dependencies of KD Craft as binary packages already compiled, nothing needs to be compiled. I do not have any error because I have run install certificates command earlier when I installed Python 3. And now I need to enter craft. Okay. And in the prompt, there's craft all uppercase. And it shows this banner when I enter the craft environment. Okay, it says if I want to build Kate, maybe Kate is too much. Let's go with something simpler. Zlib. It's too fast, I cannot read. Lib XML2. Get text. GNU get text meson glib from the GTK GNOME and it's doing configure the bus. So maybe it did not have a binary package for the bus, so it needed to build the bus from source. But it usually finds a package, so finds binaries, pre-built binaries for the package that it wants to install, so it will download the already built uh, artifacts and it will install those. Qt5, Qt base, Qt5, Qt declarative, so this is QML, the QML programming language and the engine, Qt tools, kconfig, KD framework version 5, Intel tool, kcodex, and says time step to large to convert to C. When trying to do data ISO codes. Patching the package config file. And craft binutils.pi fails. Let's copy this text if I know how to do it. Right click, copy. How can I do this thing? In a paste. I don't have a Mac keyboard.
how do I name this thing? I cannot copy things because Ctrl C does not copy. So paste title AD Craft Mac OS, which version? Big Sur 11. and then paste. Paste expiration. One month. Okay, let me ask around and see if uh, this error is something interesting. Okay, so I have just rerun the command line again, craft kcalc, and now it uh, seems to have uh, advanced. It has installed all of the KD frameworks needed and then the additional libraries that are, ne are needed by the kcalc, which is the KD desktop calculator which is lib, gmp, and then, so how um, KD Craft works is for the module that you give it as parameter, in this case kcalc, this will be built from source, but all of the dependencies of kcalc will be preferably downloaded as binaries and just installed without any compilation steps, if possible, if um, those packages have been already compiled in similar machine compiler, etc. For AMD64, for macOS. So kcalc being the last module that craft needs to install or compile and then install it will actually download the source code and compile it so i see that it has downloaded not so it doesn't do a git clone in order to get the latest kd Frameworks 5, Qt5 branch, git branch of kcalc, but instead it downloads the latest release of kcalc, which comes as a source code only archive, so tar.xz, this thing. And the release was KD gear 23.08. So it downloads the source code tarball. Then it extracts it using 7-zip. Uh, and then it does the CMake uh, configure step. So this is the source directory minus S. Okay, I'm not sure what the build directory is, the minus B. Rel with the info, so optimized but still with um, debug symbols. Okay, so the configuration step advances. It found some of the KD 
Tremors could not find Kick Crash. So it found Kick Crash 5.109, but the minimum required is 5.102. And this says that KF crash configured, so the CMake for KF crash could not be found. Okay, so I'm going to run the command again. Maybe um, it tries to download KF5 and um, KF5 crash, so K crash. But something went wrong, either it could not find a, the binary tarball, or it could not download it, or it tried to build from source and something failed. So let's just run again, and maybe we're lucky the third time. So no, it uh, ignored kcrash, so let's go kcrash. This should be the name. So it found Kcrash already compiled using macOS, the compiler CLang, AMD64. So this is how a archive containing build artifacts looks like. So it says 5.109.0. and it was already installed probably. Okay. The same error with um, time step too large, overflow, overflow again. Okay, and now we're um, further so i'm just running craft space kcalc to get over the python daytime overflow issue and then this time it has found k crash we see it in here but it could not find one of the two non-KD, non-Qt libraries on which KCalc depends. So the two GNU libraries, GNU multiple precision arithmetic library, which is named GMP, and the GNU multiple precision floating point reliable library. MPFR. And I saw this because I saw GMP being installed. I could not find easily MPFR being installed. So let's try to install this thing. Okay, so could not find a, uh, the binaries found the source tarball, so source code archive. It has downloaded, extracted. Now it's running the configure step. Now it's running the build, so it's com it compiles make minus j8. So I have eight uh, CPU threads. Some warnings, lib tool, verbose um, output. USR bin CLang compiler, C compiler. Okay. 
Okay. So this is the um, compile step. So make minus G8. And then we need the install step. Still lib tool. This thing. Make install. So it goes make minus J8 install. And this is the directory where it should put uh, the files. Install sh info, which is uh, the alternative to man pages from the GNU project. It looks okay. I do not see any errors. So hopefully this time we have MPFR available for Kcalc. And now the CMA configure step for Kcalc has found MPFR. So for the KD project Kcalc, which is the desktop calculator, the step CMA configure has succeeded. Then the step Ninja, which is actually compiling, was also successful. And then it continues to do install. So similar to make install is probably Ninja install. It creates a kcalc.app. So a native macOS updir application bundle. Share locale with translations. HTML help. DC util. I'm not sure what this thing does. Debug symbols. DC debug symbol utils. Dwarf. So the same format as in Linux from GNU GDB. Stripping the executables. Just one executable kcalc. That's inside the up there. And then it goes code sign, which is probably trying to digitally sign the application. But I'm not sure with what uh, the signature. Certainly not a important signature, maybe a dummy one from KD Craft or one generated specifically for my machine. Okay, so it says um, kcalc was successful, Craft all succeeded. Now, how do we run kcalc? I'm not sure. Let me study. I'm not sure what this notice is, but uh, I've chosen that my file system is default, which is case insensitive. So I should not be affected if this bug still happens. So I'm searching for the official KD Craft wiki page, which is this one, community.k.org slash craft. So for now, I've just run this type of commands, craft, and then the name of the package. I went with kcalc, and then I was forced to also do mpfr, and kcrash. Says if I want to create a DMG, 
So I only have an up dir. I'm not sure how to run the application yet. Maybe a way to do it is to just build a DMG and install that thing. And then we'll see if we can um, just skip creating the DMG and actually use the APP. What if I go here? Can I navigate in Finder? Open folder. Open a folder. This thing go, go to folder. Control V does not work, of course. Paste go. Okay, and in here in this directory, which is with very, a very, very long name. So slash user slash administrator slash craft rule slash build slash kd slash kdut slash kcalc image rel with the bin for version applications kd there's a kcalc.app file. So let's see if I can just run it. Okay, so this is what uh, I expected the application kcalc. It seems to use um, native window decorations, native title bar, so similar to what's for the terminal. Okay, these rounded edges do not look that great because they're pixely. Okay, I can resize. Let's see what's the default uh, size. Double click works. Okay, so the buttons are rounded, but then become squares after I keep resizing. Okay, so how do we do a square root? Not sure. Cinco stun power mode I don't see the square root okay so let's go one 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 times one 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 two three twenty one great it works okay something's very fishy in here the tooltip seems to not have the left hand side part. It's a painting issue, so I'm probably to blame. Okay, let's see about KD. Does it open a web browser? Yes, it does. It opens. Safari.
Okay. Tab bar. Let's go to the wiki page. Okay, minimize again. Minimizing takes a while. Close, and then the other help menu, which is the... Which is the... about Kcalc. Okay. The fonts do not look good. This copyright icon is blurry. The C font, the letters for the copyright. Visit components homepage. What are these things? These buttons look strange. Do I close this thing? This button has one pixel width. So I'm guessing some icons are missing in here. Let me see how it should actually look like. So in here should be an icon at the left hand side of Kcalc, the up icon. About has the correct, the about tab has the correct content. Then components. So I should say KD frameworks version 5.104.0 and then instead of the long button there should be a uh, icon with a globe. Which is a button uh, that's flat, non-3D. And then under the Coco windowing system, there should be nothing. No button, no icon, nothing. And in authors. Under each uh, author, there should be an icon with a mail envelope and two horizontal lines. So a mail envelope that hurries. So icons don't work correctly, at least in about Kcalc. In about KD, the same thing. In the top left corner, before KD B3, there should be the icon for the KD project. Okay, it looks uh, okay. Let me see how I can run the 
dot app file, kickac dot app from the command line. So I'm trying to use some runner and then the dot app file. Hopefully open is it. So I wrote open space and then I see that middle click paste works in the macOS terminal. So I've just selected and then pressed the middle click button to paste the current selection. And success. But still we do not have um, the standard output from the executable from Kikak. If something goes terribly wrong, we might get some warnings or errors written to the standard output. So let me find out how to do that. Okay, so I have found the way to run an application. So by default it creates a kcalc.app application. We can tell Craft to also generate a DMG, auto-mountable disk image file. And then we can run the application in three ways. We can either go open on the full path to the app file. This will open the application using the shell, so using the Mac OS graphical user interface application, which is Finder. So it opens the application in a graphical user interface mode. Although I have opened it from the terminal, it's still going to be opened outside of the terminal in the Windows, in the graphical user interface shell of macOS. So it will start as a graphical user interface application. So that means that the standard streams, so standard input, standard output and standard error are not connected automatically to the macOS terminal, but in fact are connected to slash dev slash null. So graphical user interface applications by default need to not be that chatty and write things in the terminal. So that's why both open and also opening the application by double clicking on it in macOS Finder will make the three standard streams connected to dev null so nothing will be visible. And you cannot also send text via standard input to the application. And you can see that by going ls off, which lists all of the applications, all of the files open inside of all, all of the processes, something like this. And then you can look at the file descriptors. So the file descriptor with um, that's named zero, which is the standard input. This is connected to slash dev null, so you cannot actually send text via standard input to kcal the application. Standard output is connected to slash dev null, so whatever kcal writes will go to nowhere, and then all of the errors that kcalc writes to the standard error std err stream will also go to nowhere. The way to open the application such that the three standard streams are connected to the terminal is to not open the file app, this thing, kcalc app, 
but to actually open the executable file which is kcalc.app slash content slash macOS slash kcalc. So if you open it like this, we will have the three standard streams connected correctly to the terminal. Let's actually see that. Okay, so kcalc starts. And there's nothing to write to the standard output yet. And if we go lsof grep kcalc, we can see that the three standard streams are connected to dev TTIS and then three zeros, which is probably the first tab in the terminal macOS application. Okay. And then in order for kcalc to start writing things to the standard streams, we can enable uh, the logging. So let's see how the KD applications write to debug logs or to standard output, standard error. So the KD applications use the Qt version 5 framework and they use the Qt facilities for logging. So there's QC debug and its friends. QC warning, QC critical, and then you use double chevrons, double less than signs, similar to the way you write to the standard output from C++. Okay. So the application calls lines like this often, QC debug, QC warning, QC critical, and similar other um, macros that call global functions, etc. But then when we run the application, we need to decide will debug, will log lines of level debug be written or not? So if you have the debug level set to warning, only warning and more important log lines of types more important than warning will be written, such as probably critical. The log lines of level debug will not be written. So that's the first one to decide the log level. Then there's where to actually write the log lines. You can write them to the standard output. You can write them to the standard error. Hopefully there's a way to send these to a uh, debug log file. And then based on the categories, when you say QC debug, you provide a category such as the name of the application or the part of the application that logs. And then you can filter out. So this would be the sources, which of the sources you want to be ignored 
and which of the sources you do not want to be ignored. Okay, so ignoring would be asterisk equals false, so ignore all of the sources. You not ignore all of the sources, that would be asterisk, so all of the sources equals true. And then some of the chatty sources, such as the Qt framework, we can keep it not written, but everything else we can have written. So this is these filtering that I have in here. So I say write everything to the standard output but do not write anything from the Qt framework because Qt framework generates many events such as mouse move events, file move events, file resize events, so all of those things are not that important in the first phase. At first you're just interested in warnings, errors, criticals such as in this case where it says that um, the KD framework icon themes says it could not find the icon theme breeze. Could not find the icon theme high color which is the standard one which is mandatory. Or the KDF framework 5 key crash says that could not find the executable Dr. Conkey. So let's actually combine. We're going to run not the kcalc.app but the ex actual executable file, binary file, kcalc. This way standard output will be connected to the terminal and then we say show us all of the log lines except those coming from the Qt framework. And the command line B is like this. These are the issues that uh, I can see logged. So K crash and K icon teams. Nothing else. So in here it could not load this icon, but it does not add an additional debug logline. Okay, so that would be all. How you use KD Craft on macOS to build any software. So first of all, you must enter the KDCraft environment. After you open your terminal, then you build using KDCraft a KD Git repository such as KCalc. And then there's ways of running the final application. Let's also package the application and see how that works. So craft. Package So this thing Package Kcalc So it says that it could not find dbg debug symbols for all of the dependencies. And then it will create a dmg file 
with all of the needed files such that uh, kcalc executable binary file can run correctly on any macOS freshly installed computer. There's thousands of files to be copied and then compressed. Okay, so it failed with error. Failed to add the dependency. libkf 5 crash dynamic library, so this is similar to the SO files on Linux and DLL files on uh, Windows, so this is the dynamic library, a shared library. So there's many warnings about uh, digital signatures and then the errors that we had previously were uh, probably kcalc so in the metadata about kcalc it doesn't say that uh, kcalc depends on kcrash so we need to build kcrash ourselves using craft space uh, kcrash and then it also did not uh, make the kcrash uh, shared library available for packaging as a DMG. Okay, let's try something else. What is as simple as kcalc? I don't know. Let's see K2Berling. So this is the Potato Guy game. QCA needs to be built, could not be found pre-built in the cache of uh, KD craft. This is KIO, libsnd file, vorbis, open al, audio libraries, kdeclarative for QML, Qt quick controls 2 for QML, k new stuff for downloading content from the internet. libkd games. This is a library that's used by many KD games. And at the end, it downloads k2bling 23.08.1 tar.xz which is a source code release archive for this game for K2Berlink. Okay, it um, did not show any error. This is the Ninja install step. 
Okay. It has sounds, pictures. Let's see the application running. So we can run the entire path to the executable. Let's uh, repand. this part where we say that uh, it should log to the terminal. This thing. So the same errors, icon theme breeze not found. Doesn't say the error about the high color theme. Default upsize is wrong. Okay, the application seems to work okay. Okay, there's this is the probably the toolbar. And this is the main menu, Mac OS style. Let's go undo. Works. Save. Shows the file save as dialog. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can package this application. So craft package and uh, Ktuber link. What is this? Download a uh, downloads directory. Okay, so again, it needs thousands of um, shared libraries, sounds, images, icons. Maybe not all of these um, shared libraries are actually needed by k to building the game hopefully way less than this number but it's probably copying uh, all of the shared libraries in all of the packages that are dependencies of uh, k of uh, k to building so if k to building depends on qt5 base it will put all of the 100 shared libraries from Qt base inside of the DMG file. KIO exec. Font config executables. FC scan. Message unique. Also, all sorts of um, build time dependencies and executables that you would find on the system, such as FC minus can, are including the, in the generated DMG file. Okay, and then it says created. Users, administrator, craft, uh, TMP, RWK to Berlin, 
Mac OS C Lang 8664DMG. After that, it starts mounting the disk image. So you loop mount or what is this slash dev slash disk four making link to applications directory. Running Apple script to make finder stuff pretty. So it tries to uh, mount the DMG and then to copy the DMG to the applications or have the user copy. Terminal wants access to control finder. Okay. I'm not sure if the application was actually installed or not. We'll see right now. So finder applications and ktubling. So because um, finder was opened and a model dialog was open on top of finder, maybe the automation did not work. So let's try again this thing or let's see if it's already mounted it's not we do that open Okay, so it mounted it. We can see it in here in the top right corner of the desktop. And then we should drag it to link over applications. After it finishes copying everything from this uh, loop mount to the tilde slash applications directory or what is this, we can close the installer and eject the DMG. And now hopefully Ktubling is available in uh, applications. What's the full path of this um, file? It's the disk and then application. So it's in slash applications, I guess. So it was not installed per user, but per the entire system. Okay, so back to applications, key to link. Double click on it. Error while loading the playground. Error while loading the sound file. Okay, so one thing is to build the application correctly on your operating system. So KCraft, uh, KD Craft could build correctly the game KeyTuber link on macOS. But another thing is to actually generate a correct installer for your operating system, such as KD Craft can create NSIS installers for Windows, DMG files installers for macOS. 
but in order to actually create the DMG correctly, there's more to it than just have KD craft guess how to create the package. You actually need to test each and every installer DMG file for macOS to see maybe there's things that KD Craft did not know how to put inside of the DMG correctly so by default. So you need to specify additional files to be added to the G DMG file, probably. Or maybe additional configurations that need to go inside of the DMG, such as setting environment variables, uh, paths to dilips to share the dynamic libraries. Who knows? So it cannot find the assets. How do we close this, this castle? Okay, Tubalin quit unexpectedly. And we do not have uh, debug logs because we did not start the application from the command line. So let's go ignore. Open. So this thing, show package contents. Contents macOS and then many of these executables should not be part of the k link DMG file. Why would you have want to have bzip to the executable for compressing and uncompressing bz2 archives in here? So this is probably KD craft creating the DMG as best as it can, but then humans need to step in and say, please exclude the following 1000 executables from the, the generated DMG file. Please exclude these subdirectories entirely. Please exclude these so not needed um, dynamic libraries, etc., at least to make the DMG file smaller. Okay, so in here there should be k link, this thing. Okay, so let's start this from the command line. How do we do that? How do we copy the path? Show path bar. This thing. Okay, let's do it by hand. So first of all, we need the prefix part of the command line. Okay. And then we need the path. So it's um, slash applications. Okay, tubaling up. Contents, Mac OS, and then K tubaling. Like this. Okay, so we s we saw these errors before. Icon theme breeze not found. Doctor Conky not found. Okay, and now surprise, surprise, we have more data if we start it from the command line, and everything works correctly. OK, 
Okay. Segmentation fault. We should uh, enable all of the non-debug level log lines also from the Qt framework. So we need to improve this Qt logging rules, the filter. Okay. So if I open, where are you? This thing. Now it can see its own data. But it has this um, segmentation fault. Okay, what is this? How do I remove this thing? Okay. Yeah, but um, there are some additional environment variables configured in here because uh, I'm inside the KD craft uh, environment in this tab in the macOS terminal. So let's open a new terminal. Okay. And doing here the same thing, open. Okay, and now we have the same errors where it cannot find the playground. So there's some additional environment variables set in this tab in the terminal that such that uh, this application slash application slash kitubaling.app probably can find the um, data, the contents, maybe not inside the slash application slash k2bling.app but in inside of uh, this craft root directory that's my theory okay so that should be it we saw how to set up um, kd craft on macOS. just install python 3 install the developer command line tools for Xcode in order to have C Lang, um, C, C, C compiler, C Lang++, C++ compiler, etc. So a um, C, C++ toolchain. Then we installed KD craft inside of the directory tilde slash craft root. In here it has installed many, many dependencies such as compression libraries, Perl, Python, whatever. And then I entered in my terminal the KD craft environment. I'm in the default uh, shell, command line shell in uh, Mac OS, which is a Z shell. So craftenv.sh supports both uh, born shells and Z shell. And then using kcraft, if you just provide a single word after kcraft, that's considered a KD Git repository and it tries to install 
all of its dependencies if inside of the craft um, online cache that dependency was already built from source then it just downloads the built artifacts such as um, dylib files and installs that if um, rebuilt the dependency does not exist in a pre-built format in the KD craft online cache then a source release tarball of that dependency will be downloaded and then built and at the very end for kcalc in our example it doesn't download pre-built binaries but it downloads a release tarball and compresses that and then in our case runs cma configure ninja to build ninja install after we've built correctly the end result is this file slash user slash administrator craft root build kd kld utils kcalc image with the info version applications slash kd slash kcalc.app which you can run and then you can also try to create a dmg file so a um, macOS native amd64 installer dmg disk mount image which did not work at all for kcalc and worked incorrectly for k2burling so this should be it next i'm going to say how i configured a very clean macOS installation such that i could uh, then install kd craft so i have uh, a fresh installation of uh, Mac OS Big Sur version 11. This is the default installation. I have opened Safari, which is the web browser in Mac OS, the default one from Apple. I have downloaded Mozilla Firefox and then I have installed Mozilla Firefox by double clicking on the um, downloaded DMG file. It uh, says that I should uh, drag the icon to the applications and now it's available in the applications directory. Let's open Mozilla Firefox. Let's see if we can pin it. Is an app downloaded? Do you want to open? Yes. Option skipping dock. So I have also added the terminal. So again, from uh, Finder Applications, the scroll is inversed. I have a mouse with a wheel. So there's a utilities subdirectory and then this is the terminal. So I have opened it and then I have chosen option skipping doc. Okay. Let's um, remove some of the applications that I do not use. Options remove from dock.
OK. This will be it for now. Let's configure Mozilla Firefox. Customize. Do we want a title bar? Maybe not. Bookmarks never show. One, two, three, four, done. Settings. Blank page. Always ask where to download. Okay, let's open an incognito window, open new private window. Let's close this one. And now we're going to go to the KD website. Okay, since the direction in which the mouse wheel scrolls is wrong to me, let's change that. So it says scroll direction natural. And let's test it. And it's better. Since the mouse cursor feels too small to me, I'm going to go to settings and then cursor and says cursor size is inside accessibility. And I'll increase like this. Okay. 